Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden with the Geek Group. We're hanging out here today with Craig, Dan, Joel, and Vinny, who are all local guys. Oh, that's attractive. Vinny's actually a Kalamazoo guy who didn't even know we were here until like 24 hours ago. And thanks to the NPR article, we've got a whole herd of new people down. So we want to thank um, Dustin over at NPR. Man, your article, wow. So the growth around here has been pretty incredible. And we've got all kinds of people showing up and all kinds of activity. And it's just awesome. We're having a blast. So you guys came down, and you want to see the pop can. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. You, you heard about the pop can, and we yeah. The cool thing in doing this, we were getting set up for this, and I didn't know where my, my earmuffs were. And I, I asked Moose, I like, Moose, are She didn't know. This guy knew where my earmuffs were. Never been here before. Knew where the earmuffs were because he watches all the videos. So you're my creepy stalker of the day. <laughs> Messed me up. He was like, they're by the drum kit. They're, they are? <laughs> Had no idea. So you want to blow something up? Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> okay, who wants to push the big red button? That kid can push the red Vin button. Vinny, that kid? Okay, come here, that kid. Well, I was going to call him Mickey, but... <laughs> That'll stick. You know that, right? You, you, you're going to be Mickey for the next 10 years. You guys want to stand over there. All right, yeah, now, stand here. Ladies. Everybody yeah. come out over here. Okay, we're there, we're at 1,700 volts. We're going to fire. When you're ready. <laughs> That's pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> I, I've never seen that, I didn't see the YouTube video. Oh, you didn't see the YouTube video? I, I didn't know, I thought the camera was just gonna like... No, no, it, that... Now, you've, you've had the tour, you've seen the building. What are your initial thoughts on the Geek Group, like the lab here? Because you're all reasonably local. I mean, you guys are from Lansing, you're from in town. What, what's your initial thoughts? I'm looking forward to being able to complete the projects that I've been sitting on. I mean, my friends refer to me as the mad scientist, but I really never do science because I don't have facilities. What kind of projects do you do? Uh, I want to play with steam engines. I would love to build a Tesla turbine. Um, I, uh, I have a mini steam engine. It's, it's the size of maybe two thimbles stacked on top of me. Like side. a mammoth or? It's about that tall. It's got a flywheel, a single piston, and I want to hook a miner's light up to it and a DC motor and have light. Did you build it or did you buy it? I bought it from, um, I can't remember the name of the company. It's Limey, Limey Steam Engines. Okay. They have an eBay page. Um, it's like 50 bucks. It's a little wobbler? Uh, no, it's it's, Come here. it's just a cylinder and a flywheel. With a Does it look kind of like this? Kind of like You've got a flywheel yes, correct. with an offset crank. Yes, correct. Okay, and it probably has a little dingus off on the yes, side. Absolutely. And this connects to a rigid shaft. Correct. The shaft doesn't have a pivot in it. Correct. And there's a cylinder here. It's actually a plate, but yes. Okay, and this sits on a plate of some kind, so which so probably so. mounts that to it. And this, the cylinder has a little hole in it, and there's one hole in the plate, and when this moves, there's a hole on the back, and this, the whole cylinder moves with it. There yeah, isn't, yeah, the, the connecting piston, rod. The piston comes out, and it dumps, and then it pushes back in, and it dumps, and it pushes back in. It dumps out the back end of the it, cylinder? Yep, you got, a, you got an air inlet here. The, the, the plate starts here, air pressure, it slides out. As it comes to the top of the swing, the, the plate opens, the pressure dumps out, and the momentum of the wheel pushes the... Okay, the way I've always seen it done is you have the... You've got the backing plate, and you have your cylinder on the plate, okay? Yep. And the cylinder has a, a, yep. a thing to move. That's a, that's and when the way. cylinder's up, there's a hole here that that's your input, and that yep. goes up, you know... The cylinder's that, down, it's output. Yeah, when the cylinder goes down over here, the hole goes to an output. Yep, and then there's a solid, a solid non non wobbling piston inside there. Yeah, up to a yeah. Flywheel. That's not how yours works. No, absolutely not. I've oh. never seen one I'll like yours. You, yeah, bring you it can, in. I want to see you it. You can breathe into it and give the flywheel a little flick, and you so it's get really about 60 RPMs out of it just with your. With that's your cool. Pressure alone. Well, if you want to build steam engines, this is a good place to do it. And I'm a huge fan of stationary steam. Oh, I big I big fan. Of it so bad. Yeah, that. See, we can have big fun with that. Absolutely. Okay, so you're an audio guy, audio guy, and you want to help here in the studio. You actually are recording local bands and doing things like that. Yep. I okay. would love to help in the studio, and like I said, I'll be here a few times a week. But now I'm seeing the other things that are here, and I was very intrigued by the lab we just did. 
and I'd love to learn more from you guys about the other things. Well, we do high voltage. We just got 8020 came down today. They're going to be our new sponsor. These guys make amazing stuff. It's like an erector set for industrial use. And yeah, this is their catalog. Oh, the T-locking uh, aluminum. Yeah, the, yeah. the aluminum, extruded yeah. aluminum channels. I built a machine on it. They're, they're, they're going to be helping us make all kinds of fun toys, and they're going to give us the materials, and we get to think stuff up and build neat stuff out of it. Like, we're going to build a new workbench in here. We're going to, all kinds of stuff. So you're going to be involved in the studio and doing that. Okay, now what's, what's your thing? I'm a musician by trade. Really? Uh, what do you play? Uh, I play a guitar, both electric and acoustic, accordion, tuba, piano, trumpet. That's um, cool. So you the first guy to come in here and pick up that accordion and actually get a sound out of it. I was going to ask who plays the accordion here. Um, Mr. Kidwell, uh, the chairman of the board, donated that. Really? And he, like when he was a kid, he played it for mm -hmm. a while. But he hasn't touched it in like 40 years or something. He's really old. Really, he's like 300 years old. A lot of people don't know that. Mr. Kidwell's actually about 350 years old. Um, but that's cool. That's, we got an accordion player. You should player. have him play a song for us right quick. You want to? I'll do it. Grab yeah. it. It's right there. <laughs> Give me your coat. <laughs> We've got live accordion mojo here. And you've got a key stuck. <laughs> the A is The A key is, is, is a little yeah, for sure. Oh, no. <laughs> oh wow, this is old. <laughs> Here, hang on. We we have a. Um... Is there an A in that piece, Joel? Yeah. Uh oh. Well, there's an A. It's just not going to be that A. Can we get some, like, <laughs> Use that A. Or something? No, it's the keys bent up. It pushes oh, against the other one. Yeah. So much smaller than mine. <laughs> We've got a bigger one. You do. Where's yeah, there's another accordion around here somewhere. Your big fingers aren't working too well, I don't think. <laughs> Hi. You tell him. See, there's your vocal accompaniment. Oh my gosh. This is so old. It's an Isn't it neat? I have no yeah. idea how old it is. I don't, I don't know anything about it. I know the one I have at home is going on probably 50, 60 years. It's my grandpa. And that one's older than that? Yeah, this one is wow. not in as good a shape, but yeah. Well, you're welcome to play it any time you want. It's so small you compare to the other one, too. I know. <laughs> yeah, we've got one that's like that tall. It's a great big thing. I'd love to see it. I don't know where it is, but I'm sure we could dig it up at some point. Yeah. It's around here somewhere. It'll be in the studio, I'm sure. You know, it got from somewhere for safekeeping. Yeah. It, when we get the studio set up, though, it'll be in there. Awesome. I'd love to look at it. Well, come on out and get excited, man. All right. So you're a, you're a musician musician. Mm -hmm. So I can see you getting involved with our recording studio oh, yeah. a fair bit as well. I, I saw the entire setup you guys had here and all the instruments you have lugging around. And I saw the drum set and I just I had a little deep gasm <laughs> right, right from the beginning. So well, Dan cool. really mentioned you guys did a lot of audio stuff here. And I was like, I can get into that. I'm not a machine guy. I don't do a lot of you know stuff with electronics. But as soon as you get me into music, I'm... Well, we need people for everything. That's the idea. There's something here for every flavor. I mean, it's, we've got bio geeks and art geeks and ecology geeks and vehicular sciences geeks. I mean, Andre's back there. I don't even... Let's, let's go find out what Andre's doing. So tell us about you while we're walking. Um, Craig Pontius? I don't know. What do you want? Pontius? Pontius, yeah. Pontius. Pontius, yes. He's a good Greek kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is Craig Pontius, the magnificent ruler of Moldavia. <laughs> you know, interestingly enough, that you say that, but one of my friends had the big running joke where I'm apparently the god of Pontiacs, and I can, <laughs> and I can launch Pontiac cars from my hands. You know, Pontiac like, was an Indian, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, my friends came up with that. I had nothing to do with it. They just came so, up with it on the spot. So what do you do? What's your thing? Uh, I, don't, I do a lot of computing. Um, Currently, I'm I'm really getting um, like addicted to using Linux and like anything open source. Okay. Like I'm to a point now where all I use is like Ubuntu, and if I boot a Windows machine, I have to think for a second about what to do. Do you have any masochistic tendencies? Like, do you like pain and suffering? <laughs> Who doesn't? Okay, then you really want to look into Gen two. <laughs> yeah. You know, I have the minimal install disk sitting at home. I haven't really played with it much because I was having an issue. Which is, I think, what the only when thing you, you need to know it. about Gen Two is, is the ultimate text-based video game. <laughs> yes, Gen, yes, Gen Two is is a text-based video game. If you win, you can use the internet. <laughs> Gen Two, when it works, yeah. is amazingly awesome. Yeah. It's so cool when it works. When it works. <laughs> That's what they Before you get to there, yeah, Skelton uses a, a pain, a lot of pain, yeah. a lot of pain. 
Did you ever see that picture? I, I, yeah. My buddy of mine was saying a friend of his put it on there. It took him took a week. It, it took him two weeks to get it to work uh -huh. right. And he's like, I now know everything about Linux. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I have, you'll master I had to do it getting it there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The 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 most accurate thing I've ever heard said about Gen two yeah. was somebody who who retweeted a, a tweet and it said Gen two was a good idea nineteen hours ago. <laughs> so and that pretty much yeah. Okay, that sums yeah, up. Right? Anybody who's ever installed yeah yeah yeah. I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So you you're gonna have a field to hear. We've Isn't got I? the render engines. We've got the, we've got a whole knock up front. Really? So yeah, we got to, we've got all kinds of computer goodness. Oh, wonderful! And and one of the things I'm doing, I've got a project that you specifically are gonna get a kick out of. Do you know what a teletype is? I know more of it than I know what it is. It's a keyboard, right? With a, a wide line printer, like a dot oh, matrix. Okay. okay. Sure. It's basically you use that to connect through a serial connection to a mainframe. Oh. I want to put a teletype. On the internet, I want to be able to use a teletype to surf the internet, <laughs> and you can do that with a Linux machine. Yeah, and I need sure. people to help on this project. Right, so if right. you want to help with that, yeah, we might there have to go. do this now. Okay, and and we've got it. It's up front, so we I just got to get a laptop. So we're waiting yeah. for Dart John to donate some laptops. So hey, this kid, he's one of them. So we we're come back here to see what Andre's up to. What what are you doing? I'm just putting this back on. This What's that smell? Oil. Okay. <laughs> Did you use half a can of WD-40 on this? Maybe a quarter of a can. Quarter can? Okay, because it's got a slight aroma. Yeah. Slight. <laughs> I'm a little high right now, just standing this close to it. So I'm just like, there's a little bit of WD-40 in here. <laughs> what? This used to not work. It used to always go slow, and now this works. I what does this do? It's the variator lever. It, the what? It makes it so... The variator level? Yeah, it, it vari variates how fast it goes. Variates? <laughs> variates. That's why it's called the variator lever. You know that's not a word, right? Variate? Variate. I'm pretty... I'm pretty I, it varies the Oh, level. okay, it's called the variator. <laughs> okay, it's the variator. Yes. That sounds like one of his henchmen. <laughs> <laughs> he is Pontius, the variator. <laughs> So, the, where's the battery? Behind you. Oh, of course it is. It's right there, obviously. I yes, I was it testing it. The oh, okay. I am putting it back together now. <laughs> is there any chance we can replace this? Because I'm guessing it caught on fire, like they had a gas fire or something. Oh, I'm, I'm sure that we can. Okay. I can order one off the internet. You can find parts for this? Yeah, I've heard that before. Nice snow plow on he the front He didn't call me back. <laughs> I was so excited. I was like, we're going to have a snowball. Yay. No. Because this runs, and it's it's good and happy. Like, you yeah, fixed battery. this yeah. a while back. <laughs> so this is Andre. Andre? The internet knows Annie. Andre. What? 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 The flat tire. Yeah, that it wouldn't roll. So it's like... not the flat tire that bothers me. Is it the thing? It's that you parked the lawnmower on a creeper. It, that bothers it me. It was missing, like, a wheel. It, no, it has an extra bullet. Had it possibly <laughs> occurred to you that perhaps it's the concept of people parking vehicles on the creeper as to why the wheel fell off the creeper? I thought of that. Perhaps? Yeah. It could, you know. Don't park the lawnmower on a creeper. <laughs> Get, what, I, look at him. It, he's not a dainty little man. If you were to come up and say, hey, come here, give me a hand, he'll he pick it up. Here. He's here now to help you. We got skateboards all around the building. We got skateboards for that kind of thing. And we you got creepers. And Dolly, you. It, no, we have a creeper. <laughs> this is what I work with. That's this is my whole life. It's like herding cats. So, <laughs> so what's Cat next? Herder. What are you working on? I'm putting it back together. Okay, but it works better now. It does. Okay. Andre through. comes out here once in a while and just puts a couple hours of love into this old thing, and it gets better every time he comes. So this is just the cutting height. That's this. That, that fine tubes the cutting height. This is what adjusts the cutting height. Okay, see, I thought this did the... Okay, if this no, does no, the cutting no. height, what does this vary? The variator. The speed in between no, gears. In this between is gears. this is gears. No, this it varies the speed in between gears. Like, if you're mowing and you're going too fast in third gear, but you're going too slow in second gear, then you can use that to get right where you want it to go. Really? Yeah. That's and actually kind of cool. Like, sometimes you'd be mowing, and then it would free itself, and then you'd just take off. And it would it just you know it just like randomly take off and then it would never work again. I had no idea what that lever did. 
Yeah. See, I and thought that was the up and down for the thing, but did, yeah, that's what it, this it was like down. haunted, and, and now it's not haunted anymore. Where it's, well, thank hey, you for. Hey, I never had a problem with it other than getting it started. Oh, it works fine well, with me. I got it to, to crank today. Was taking the battery tray out the, the way to get to it? Yeah. Well, rock out. All right. So what's next, gentlemen? Well, you gentlemen are free to tinker on anything you'd like. If you want to help out on a project, if you want to, maybe you can help Mikey hang some drywall. Mikey's a master of drywall. Okay, you want to hang some drywall? You totally do. You're excited about drywall. Drywall's fun. Yay, drywall! Let's find out what's up in here. Hey, Moose? How many got upgraded? This one? You guys got to see this. Come here and have a look. All right, we're in the machine shop here, and you'll notice... The long-awaited update is here. We have the new software on the Haas machines. Um, they've only done one of them. We've got two more to go, but they'll be back. We've got the new processor upgrades, the new software, all the, the memory upgrades. We've got th uh, 16 mega RAM now. So this is, uh, 16 megs a lot in this. So it's really cool, and you're going to be doing all kinds of nifty new stuff now because we've got that. Yes, I've been hitting a bunch of errors before with the old software. And it's all better it, now? It, it tells me it is. I'm still trying to figure out my way around how to use the new software because they did it the right way. They didn't just patch the old one. And make it's it a whole better. new thing. From the beginning, different. And we got your other happy new sponsor. We need to say hi to the guys at Vectric in England. They donated, what is it, the V-Carve? V-Carve Pro. Okay. And let me show you a great example. Okay. I made this using uh, Visual Mill, which is what we're using. Yep. Which is great software for certain things, but in V carving, it takes the bit and it decides how much space is between it and goes down. Okay. But you can see this really funny gap in the yeah, middle. Yeah, it's got the bump where it didn't cut anything. The big feature with V Carve Pro is you can tell it to flat out your carving at a certain depth. So this would be flat all the way across. Now, would it do that with the same pointy bit and make a million passes, or is it smart enough to change out a bit and you know use a, f a fat bit? You can the use a fat bit. It prefers you to use the V bits that have a little tiny flat point on the bottom. Okay. But if all you have is a straight V and say an eighth inch flat mill, it will do both of them. Okay. And this is the flower thing you were working this is on earlier. Flower thing. That, this this that, is neat. That's that's a fairly high bit of intricacy there. That was made with one thousand tolerance. Wow, that's a very accurate little flower. It is. It's an edelweiss. It's an edelweiss. Yes. Oh, it's touching. Well, cool. I'm gonna let you get back to your thing. Okay. Okay. So that's what's up today. We got a ton of new people here, and and the dog's been injured. Her life is hell. I know. It's so hard being you. We want to thank all the guys at NPR. We want to say hi to all the guys at Channel 3. They were here earlier today and rocked out. That was fun. Um, we want to say hi to Chad Hardwick, I think is the guy's name, the commenter on there. It's good to know that we still have all the true love and support of everybody in the city of Kalamazoo. You guys keep rocking out. It's everything we expected from a former staffer at the city of Kalamazoo. And I wish you well and all that you truly deserve, sir. I'm Chris Bowden with The Geek Group. Um, if anybody has any questions, please feel free to info, in, email me at info at thegeekgroup.org. Me or Moose or Vicky or Omni will be happy to reply to you and answer any questions we can. If you want to come down here and get a tour, unlike the city of Kalamazoo, and actually come get a look at what we're doing and get involved, everybody's invited. Check us out online, www.thegeekgroup.org. And that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys next time. See you.